Hey, good morning, everyone. How you doing, Thomas, John? Hey, Blue, Mai. Carmen, how are you? Hope everyone's doing well. Happy Thursday, June 30th, 2022. Hello, July. Here we come. Here we come. Hey, Mike, Ron, Steph, how you doing? Okay, so um, as far as I'm concerned, the biggest thing that we've got going on today is somebody is going to get dinner from me, possibly more people. So if uh, members, this is a members thing, uh, um, trial members, you are a member, by the way. Um, so here in the members room, uh, between, what is it, 10 a.m. and noon Eastern, if you post in the room where you think the market will close on Friday, we will be using uh, my charts here, and they will not be set on uh, pre or post times. They'll be set just like this, uh, how we uh, always look at it uh, during the day. As an example, yesterday's close was 33834 uh, here on the SPY. Anyway, the closest person uh, gets dinner from, from me, uh, Hit Run Candlesticks, uh, and you can bring a guest. It also could, includes, it's, you know, dinner, dessert, drinks, and an Uber if you need to take an Uber home. <laughs> so, um, so where do you think the market will close Friday? Here's the thing. Don't post till after 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern and, you know, post between 10 a.m. and uh, noon today Eastern make sure when you post if you do not put your logic down I'm gonna ignore it so if somebody just types in that you think we're gonna close at 374.33 I do, won't even write you down you have to put your logic down there no guessing allowed um, you have to put your logic okay all right so let's take a look at the spy here Actually, I'm going to turn that real time back on for this. There we go. Uh, not much exciting here this morning. Not much at all. Uh, we're below the T-line. Okay. Sellers have control. T-line's below the 17. Sellers have control. That's not new news. Uh, we've known that. Hey, good morning, Brett. Um, it is what it is. Uh, overall, you can see that the trend is still down. Clearly down. You can, if you want to draw trend lines, you can draw trend lines. If you just want to look at the 50 period moving average, you can do that. Um, if you want to look at lows, you can do that. You can look at this sideways, upside down, inside out, from a kaleidoscope if you want, and the bears still have control. I still believe that we're going to get down here to the 1000 period moving average that is right now. If my line is close here, uh, around that 347.83, I still think that gets tagged uh, before we have any real big meaningful uh, rally. Now after that, we'll just have to see. So uh, let's take a look at T2122, T2122, and you can see that we're back down the oversold area. We were here, uh, we popped up nice little move up and then back down so we're back down that oversold this is a maybe an indication you know be cautious of of, uh, uh, of picking up shorts that are stretched um, shorts can still be traded but you don't want them stretched out um, the the advantage might not be in your favor if they're too stretched because they might be part of that oversold condition and the buyers might try to pick some up, and that's going to just uh, hurt your short position. Um, don't think I would be overly long until the market starts to uh, actually turn up. Uh, and right now, I I just don't see. I mean, I'm I'm all in favor of uh, getting in the trading room, having a good time, looking at charts, asking questions, enjoying enjoying everybody's company. Uh, but to actually get out there and trade, I don't know, just crazy. This this market is insane right now. So uh, just 
trade cautiously for those that do. Uh, what else is there? Oh, uh, T2122. Um, that's not what I wanted. T2123. Try it that way. There we go. 15 minute chart. Uh, yesterday, we did close up yesterday um, at the end of the day, and we did put in a Fig Newton chart pattern. We have a little bottom here. We created that little, little round and bottom, then that little rise. And then that rise just went sideways with a Fig Newton pattern. So based on this, uh, I don't get to see this real time. This does not work that way. So I can only see what was yesterday, not what, not what is pre-market. Uh, but right now, I look at this and I see bullish bullishness going on. If this turns down this morning right away, then that bullishness is off the table. It's pretty simple, really. Um, the hourly chart, we didn't get anywhere near the bullish side of this, so bears still overall own um, the market right now. Uh, there we go. So, um, moving down, uh, could there be support somewhere around 374, 43? Sure. Could there be some here at 471.15? I'm mentioning this because somebody asked me about this. Is uh, about support right in here. They think that, you know, they think that this is forming a bottom in here. And I can't disagree with that. Um, if I would have received an email from somebody that said, um, it looks like we're going way lower, I couldn't disagree with that either. Really what we're in is a whole lot of chop. I think you can clearly see that resistance is right here in this area. I'm just going to use these three candles right in there. You can see that right in there. You can see we're just, just tons of resistance. Um, I... I'm I'm finding it hard to believe that we have some major support here. Um, I'm finding it really hard to believe that. So overall, sellers got the game. Um, let's look at N U N P here. U N P is still trending to the downside. Uh, we've got a little base here. We rallied up. Here we're pulling back. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, here's that thousand period moving average. So to me, that is still a target. We're putting in a little pre-market um, activity, bullish activity. We've got a little bullish flag right here, a um, little shelf right here. But you know what? I don't believe it. Not in a heartbeat. I don't believe that that's a bullish trade. Um, what, one thing that, that I want to point out is um, a lot of traders, let's do this right here. A lot of traders will say trade in a time frame. I don't. I don't mean a one minute or five minute. Uh, let, let, let's forget time frame. Let's say swing trade, um, or even go a little further out than swing trade. Maybe maybe something kind of a um, sort of a, a cross between swing trade and some kind of investing. So traders are doing that. Well, you know what's happening these days. Traders are narrowing their trading range. So now maybe nothing but swing trade. And then that's not working out so well in this market. So what they do is they go to some hybrid swing trade, scalp, daily trade, day trade. Well, that doesn't work out. So now they go to a day, a scalp trade. And, and, and they just, they pin themselves in this box right here. And they don't see the whole picture. And the whole picture is this is a trash market. That, that's the picture. So, so you, you know, what, what happens is we see charts like this, little activity. We can make that argument of a bullish chart pattern here, forgetting that we're in a major downtrend. So the thing to do is let it work. Let, let's get rid of all this. We'll come over here. Put that trend line on there. And then put this trend line on there. This right here, stay away from it. Stay away from the middle. Let let the market let the market give you a clue what it's doing. Are we going this way? Okay, now we can get aboard this trade. Um, are we going this way? 
Okay, now we can get aboard the strait. This right here, dangerous waters. It's like a pool of sharks in there. Pool of sharks. Uh, MOS. MOS. There it is. MOS. This looks like a clear bear trade to me. Uh, clearly moving to the downside. Here we've had a low. We've rallied up. Let me make this a little smaller. Do that. There we go. Here we've had a low. We've rallied up. If this was to get bullish, the only place it could possibly be bullish is above this high. Right now is the time I think that these sort of things right here are extremely important. Trying to catch this down here, what if it puts in some kind of double bottom, starts coming up? Bad, bad form, man. That'll eat your lunch. Let it prove itself. And if it gets up here, it'll look like this. It'll look like that. You can put a bullish trend in there now. Higher highs, higher lows. Anyway, this still looks uh, short. We've got a, a red ice failure, very similar to a blue ice failure. In fact, it's the same thing. Um, all a blue ice failure is, you're, you're using a major moving average. Price goes below it. Price comes above it and fail, comes to it and fails. It can also go above it and fail. That's just a major moving average failure. It's been named a blue ice failure. The same thing about the 200 period moving average. We're down. We come to it. We fail. The trend continues until buyers step in. Uh, XOM. So the energy thing, there are some serious bulls out there on energy. And that's okay. I mean, I get it. Uh, I do. The news says bullish, right? But the chart doesn't say that. Now, maybe tomorrow energy can be bullish. Maybe. All it takes is one big candle and some follow through to kick it off. But until then, we've got nothing but blue ice failure setting up here. Nothing about this is bullish. I still see more downside until it's not. I can't, I can't prove, I can't claim, I can't say that this is going to be the absolute low today. I can't say that something like this is going to happen today. I can't say that. It might. I mean, I can't say that it is, and I can't say that it isn't. But as a trader, this is not what we're trying to catch. But yet, there's an awful lot of people trying to do that. Why? Because there is no follow-through in this market. So what they're seeing is these quick moves. Oh, now I've got to go day trade that. Lots and lots of people I chat with. Lots and lots of people. Uh, I, I think I can speak for Doug at Right Way Options. Lots of people. You know, they're, they're trying to push string across the street. They're trying to make something of nothing. So let it prove itself. You don't need to buy Exxon down here. You don't need to buy Exxon if it was to do something like this. You don't need to buy it on this candle. There's ample room and time to make money up here. Let it prove itself. Other than that, this still looks short to me. I still see a target down here until they're not. And I'm just going to use major moving averages. Follow price from there. Twitter. Oh, my nose is plugged up. Uh, Twitter looking short. I still see 3540 down here. Um, I see 3540. And I also see Twitter trying to. Uh, maybe put some kind of base in. And I'm saying that because this 35.39 is low. And until that breaks, I see sideways movement, but I see us going down there. So uh, if we crack through 35.39 and 32.35 down here uh, is going to be a target. If it gets bullish, what are we going to do? Are we going to get excited about Twitter if it does this? Heck no. Look at all that resistance. Look at all that monster up there. Let it, let it go. If it wants to go way up here, let it go. Let it pull back and calmly, calmly walk in. CSX still looks short. Thousand period moving averages right here. 
and that's where I see as the first target. Microsoft. Microsoft is still in a downturn. So, what do we have here, right? Let's put this up. We have this downtrend here. Um, we can do something like this. We can put that up there. We'll use the current, well, we're going to use this and then let it go where it will. So, is it wise to be chasing Microsoft right here? Or would it be wiser to wait, if you're bullish, for a breakout here? If you're bearish, would it be wiser to get below? And I'm, I'm going to just go below that trend line right here. So you're not playing in the in the eye of the storm, or I guess it's calm in the eye of the storm, isn't it? I don't know. This is the storm. There's more dedicated trading on the breakout or the breakdown. Stay away from the riffraff. This is all riffraff in here. But here's what happens. You know, oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke Microsoft. Well, that's what you've been saying all this time. Microsoft has smoked you. Be careful. American Express still looks like we're headed down. I mentioned this one yesterday. Uh, still headed down to the uh, 1,000 period moving average. This chart pattern here uh, is called a dreaded H pattern. I forget who was the inventor of that. I used to know, but old age catches up. Bearish H pattern. We get below this low. That's what makes it that dread, you know, officially a dreaded H pattern. It's the exact opposite of a bullish J hook pattern. Uh, either way, I still see the seven, the thousand period moving average as a target there. So, okay, uh, well, not much change here on this buy. Okay, cool, everybody. Thank you very, 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 very much. I look forward to seeing everybody's post. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them on here on a paper. Just FYI, I will be off tomorrow, but I will monitor um, the end of the day, and I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not here at the end of the day, just simply to find that winner because I'm kind of excited about it. Or winners. Yes, Gregor, post right here in the room. Put your, put your uh, spy, uh, something like this, okay? Uh, here, I'll post right here. So I'll... Uh, I'm going to post 347, uh, 347 point, and I don't know that this is what I'm going to do. 347, and I'm going to put uh, 1,000. I've been talking about this forever, so 1,000 SMA, uh, something like that. Um, and make sure you put Friday close, okay? I probably should have said that. Make sure you put Friday close, boom, something like that right there, okay? But you and you, your logic can be as long as you want it to be. I, anyway, I think this is really cool. Hey, good morning, Julie. How are you? All right, everyone. You guys take care. We'll see you here in a little bit, and then let's have some fun today. Um, all right. Thanks a lot. We'll see you shortly.